It has been suggested that the Harper government, previously known as the Government of Canada, dislikes science. Now, I never really bought into this, but I'm starting to come around. Although I figure they can't be against all scientists, just scientists that study things that don't matter, like water. Case in point, the Experimental Lakes Research Facility. Now, if you haven't heard of it, why would you? It's basically 17 government scientists that operate a living laboratory that encompasses 58 freshwater lakes. Not very sexy, but in the world of science, they are rock stars, renowned the world over. Now, to be fair to the Prime Minister, as far as scientists go, they're probably the very worst. I mean, think about it. They're up there living in tents and shacks with their big bushy beards, eating mung beans out of mason jars, trying to figure out what different chemicals will do to our drinking water. You know, they're the people who figured out the acid rain problem. And now the Harper government is closing them down to save money. How much money? Two million dollars a year. But here's the kicker. It will cost 50 million to shut them down. Wow. Someone really doesn't like fresh water. Now I admit, I am biased here. In the interest of full disclosure, I'm a drinker. I drink water at home, at work. Heck, I put it in my coffee. But to me, this goes to the very heart of who we are. When I think about what makes Canada great, fresh water is right at the top of the list. We have over two million lakes in this country and more than enough people who are willing to mess with them. My Canada includes weird scientists who are devoted to keeping our water clean. When we stand up and we sing, O oh Canada, we pledge to stand on guard for thee. If that doesn't include our water, we might as well sit down and give up.